Hey again everyone and welcome back to another video in FS19. So today I'm on the map Felsburn or Felsbron, Felsbrun, however you pronounce it. And if you're a regular viewer on this channel, you may recognize this farm. This is the one I was on when I did that uh, live commentary with YouTuber Trainman3985 a couple months ago. But uh, made some changes since then. But anyways, today I'm going to be taking off uh, corn. Well, not really taking off corn. I've got a helper doing that. I've got some truck driving i got to do. You can just see the combine over there on top of that hill. I also got another helper taking off, I believe, oats. But uh, yeah, I got some truck driving i got to do here. First thing is I got a load of canola over here. I got to run up to Railroad Silo East, I believe it is. Yes, right up here on the map. You can see just right there, Railroad Silo East. So I got to go up there and offload this because I'm starting to run out of room in my silos to store canola. And I went ahead and got uh, one of my bigger trucks to do this with just so I don't have to make another trip. But... Yeah, just gonna go ahead and head up to the railroad silo here, and I gotta try to get back in time in case one of those combines gets full. I gotta be able to get a truck out there to uh, so they can offload. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this larger truck is you really need to uh, be careful how you maneuver it, uh, longer load and what have you. Uh, I quite like this though. These trailers got a lot more capacity than uh, the other ones. I'm not exactly sure what it says on the back there. If you happen to know, leave it in the comments. But uh, just going past my junkyard up on the hill here, that might make for an interesting video. Uh, show you guys what kind of treasures I've got there. But just going to make the turn here. Try not to take anything out in the process. Doesn't really matter if I do or not. But going to switch to cab view here so yeah I actually expanded oh there's the one helper uh, taking the corn off yeah I actually expanded whoa 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 the AI in this game is terrible <laughs> but yeah I actually got some new trucks uh, I didn't really get rid of any old ones I just decided to go out and get a few new ones uh, really, like I mentioned before, I really like these trailers here. They got more uh, capacity than the other ones I had. So it just makes things a little bit easier, less trips. Uh, the only downside is you got to have a lot of room to maneuver them. I actually have a longer uh, road train uh, on this map as well. It's at a different location, but I like to use that. Because again, you know, more capacity, fewer trips. The only downside is that requires a lot of room to maneuver around. And that's just not, it, the space just isn't there with Railroad Silo East. So it's limited where you can actually take it into without having to detach anything. I'm just going to turn into this road here. Again, trying to be careful not to take anything out. But again, it doesn't matter. And I'd honestly say there's just enough room to get this truck in. There, I just took out that one sign. But just going to go ahead and pull up on the unloading area. I think I turned too sharp, whether or not that other trailer is going to make it up on there or not. And the only downside, again, is with this, I have to detach the rear trailer in order to unload. But I think you'd have that problem with uh, just about anything like that. I, I don't know if uh, trucks like, or trucks in real life are like that, if you have to detach the rear unit to unload or not. I mean, I've seen some guys driving those dump trucks and they got the pup behind them. They don't uh, seem to have an issue. I actually saw a video there a couple years back. There, I think this was over in a foreign country, actually, but there was one guy he had 
one of those dump trucks with the pup behind it. And he basically backed the pup up, dumped the load out of that, and then he went and somehow managed to back up to where that pup was out of the way and actually unloaded the truck as well. And, I mean, that, that skill's right there. But just going ahead and getting this second trailer off and going to head back to the farm after this. And probably not going to use this truck to offload combines just for the simple fact that I don't think I'm going to have that much uh, grain that I'll be able to, put it this way, be able to justify using this truck. So, just about offloaded here. And there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the tarps back on here and head out. And this is going to be a bit of a challenge right here because I, I got to swing so I don't hit that building with the second trailer. At the same time, I got to have enough room to turn around with the intersection here or make the turn. And hopefully there's no cars coming because, again, the AI in this game is just terrible. There's the train just going by at the moment. Well, there it is. I love that. European locomotive with American rolling stock. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. So, yeah, just going to get right on the back, back on the right side of the road. It's kind of funny in this game... Uh, they actually, you know, this is supposed to be somewhere over in the UK, I think, where this farm is supposed to be. Yet, all the vehicles are left-hand drive, and you drive on the right side of the road. Uh, doesn't make much sense to me. But, you know, whatever, I guess. Okay, so just... Coming up here to the intersection. Going to be going past my junkyard here again. Uh, the back entrance in, into it. Right there, you just drive up that uh, drive right there on the right hand side. But go ahead and make the turn here. I think I actually turned in here the wrong way. Uh, on my way to the silos, but, you know, whatever. Uh, if you watched the live commentary I did with Train Man, uh, you may have noticed there was some machine sheds here just uh, on the right-hand side. Uh, those are gone, and I built that larger one sitting over there. And I like that one a lot better. Gonna try to turn wide here to turn in too sharp. Just gonna turn up in here and park right next to the grain bins. Don't know if I'll be taking anything out or not. There we go. Uh, let's see how these guys are doing. Check in on helper C. 52%. This is my Kloss Dominator Combine I got. Uh, it's the newest one I've got. I had, uh, the first one I got was a John Deere machine, and I got a smaller Kloss machine as well. 54%. See what helper I has. 75%, so I'm going to need a truck for this helper to unload here soon. Actually, they're almost done with this field from the looks of it. So, but I think I'll go ahead and grab a truck for helper C. And this is another new truck I got. I actually got this one because uh, my one combine, the auger doesn't reach up high enough to unload onto the larger truck. So I needed something that was a little bit shorter 
and I really didn't want to get a wagon or anything to use just because you know transports a lot quicker with a truck and I saw this one was available and it had the pup to go behind it so that was the one I decided to use. Upper eye has nearly full grain tank. Okay that would be the John Deere machine. I'm just gonna drive over here go ahead and park this in the field. And I think I'll just run over to my other truck right here. This was the one I used to haul uh, chaff in the last video. I believe this is... No, actually my Red Mans would be the oldest trucks I have. They were the first ones I got. So just going to drive up over the hill here, try to find that helper. Okay, just down here, turning around. So, yeah, another thing I did is I've actually got more land now than I did before. Uh, if I just go into the map here, uh, select lands, everything in green is what I own now. I went ahead and purchased a lot of the property surrounding the area, and I don't really think I'm going to expand much more than what I have now. I'm pretty content with this much, keeps me busy, and, you know, I'm just happy with what I have right now. Uh, don't really have a lot of money to purchase any more land, but at the same time, I don't think I need any more, so... Just gonna go ahead and make the turn here. And go ahead and get up alongside the combine here and try to unload on the move. There we go. I think if I set it to cruise, it should just, yeah, there we go. Wasn't sure if I had that set correctly or not. So, yeah, just unloading on the move here. That way the helper doesn't have to stop, and I'm not... Because you basically pay these helpers to work for you, and if they're sitting there waiting for you to get a truck over to unload, or they're sitting there unloading, you're basically paying them. So it's good to try to unload on the move. And just over on the other side of the road there, that was a field of oats that was recently taken off. Uh, I'm planning on going back and bailing the straw off of that. Just uh, haven't got around to it yet. Alright, so that helper's unloaded. I'm going to as soon as the game saves here, I want to go over to Helper C, see how far along they are. 73%. The only downside with uh, the fields on this side here is I did not get around to fertilizing them, unfortunately. So I'm not expecting my yield to be that great. Uh, one of those deals, it, it just came up faster than I could get to it. I uh, kind of got sidetracked with other things I was doing on this map, uh, trying to get other stuff planted. and I mean, that's one advantage to hiring workers is you can get more done, but at the same time, again, you're paying somebody to do the work as well. But Yeah, I'm just going to leave that uh, combine uh, do its thing. Okay. Here, here's something cool. Uh, trying to see here. I'm not 100% sure if I can do it or not. Maybe not uh, this time. If I go over to the truck here real quick. I get out. And... There we go. I'm in the passenger seat. Uh, basically, there's a mod you can install where you get a universal passenger. 
Uh, it's really nice if I'm playing online with a friend or what have you. I can actually ride along in the passenger seat or something. Okay, now I got the option for that. I don't know why it wasn't there before, but yeah, see, now I'm riding uh, as a passenger on the combine. So it's pretty cool, and you do have different uh, camera angles. Like there's uh, out here outside the combine on the back of the combine. I don't know why you'd want to be there, but you know, okay, whatever trips your trigger. Uh, I got to get truck over here for helper C to unload. Probably just go over here to the end of the field. And the field's kind of far away. Last thing I want to do is have to back up. Just waiting for the combine to get over here. Don't start filling the rear trailer. There we go. I was hoping it filled the truck first. There's an option on here to block the trailer. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be uh, to keep from keep combines or what have you from loading them. Uh, a lot of times I just go ahead and put the tarps on the trailers and you know, that seems to keep them from getting loaded, but uh, I don't think he got a tarp option with this truck. So. I haven't really experimented with this that much. Uh, just recently got it. Just offloading here. Still a bit of field to go with this. Check in with helper I again. A couple more passes should be done with this field. So I'm going to head back to the farm here for a second. I'm just going to go over here, uh, show you my other combine I have. Wish this thing could walk a little faster. Yeah, this is the Kloss 218 machine I got. Uh, the only downside with the Kloss machines is they don't have uh, corn headers. Uh, they only got the grain headers, and I don't uh, I don't prefer to use uh, just any header. I'd like to have matching headers for my machines. Uh, the people that made the mods apparently didn't get around to making corn headers for these machines, but they got the grain headers, and then they also have header carts. So. It's not a total loss, but uh, just gonna walk over here, grab this truck, and get ready for when this uh, combine is getting towards the end of the field. I want to go ahead and get that unloaded, and maybe only a couple more passes left from the looks of it. Uh, I'm gonna say about three more passes looks like so I think what I'm gonna do is bring the truck over here park it on this driveway big thing is not to leave it in the way of the helper because then you get a notice oh helper a is stopped due to uh, blocked by an object or sometimes I even had it to where it says oh helper a is stopped for unknown reason uh, i had one time it did that i investigated and it turns out there was actually a car in the road and the helper apparently stopped for that reason i guess but it's like 
you know, the AI is just terrible in this game. And I got a friend of mine there, he's like, oh, well, you know, they've definitely come a long way since 2011. It's like, well, that may be the case, but still. And, I mean, I wouldn't really know because I've only played FS19, but, like I said, the AI in this game is severely lacking in some areas. But anyway, he's going to go ahead and move this truck around here. Not really sure what this is uh, in particular. I'd say this is a European truck, which in that case would be called a lorry. Kind of funny there. I know a guy from Germany. I was in a Skype call with him there one night. We were just having a bull session about American truckers and everything. And I, I kind of got a kick out of it there because he was telling me about... Uh, his grandfather used to be a truck driver, and I don't know, just the way he said it was kind of hilarious, because he's there like, me grandfather was a lorry driver. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I just got a kick out of it. But, uh, looks like Helper Eye's just about done on their field. So... Uh, looks like they're going to have one more pass, so I'm just going to go ahead and get turned around for that. And the acceleration is very slow at the moment. Just going to go ahead and turn here. And in case you're wondering, yes, I have crop damage turned off because when you got hired help running combines and such, they insist on stopping in the middle of the field. And in order to unload, sometimes you got to drive through the crop. And I yeah, just found it easier to turn off crop damage. I think a lot of people probably do that. But... I think what I'll do is pull down here. Just pull down here so when the combine reaches the end of this field, it'll go ahead and unload. And then I can take this back to the grain silo and offload it. I'm not 100% sure how much corn I've got in there so far. Uh, see what Helper C's doing again. 39, 40%. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that much crop off this field because, like I said before, I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't get to fertilizing any of this, and, you know, you, my yield's going to be lacking because of it. Helper Eye has a nearly full grain tank. Well, good for them. Should be able to reach the end of that field before uh, having to unload. Uh,. <sighs> really just got to wait now. I'm not really sure what else to what else to uh, say at the moment. There they just tried to unload into that trailer, but it was too far away. So it looks like Helper Eye is turning around. Probably just go ahead and ride, ride back on the combine. There you got one of the cars blaring on the horn. Helper's in the middle of the road. It's kind of funny. I have found that another case where the AI is lacking in this game is you literally have these cars. A helper like will be in the field, like right here, right now, and there will be a car down there on the road. Well, the car will stop and start honking despite the machine being in another time zone. And I don't understand it. It's, again, the AI just seems really bad in this game not only with the workers but with the traffic which I mean that's probably why there's a reason you can turn the traffic off and I don't know just it, it amazes me that you know the game's been around for what almost 10 years now I guess and the fact that they have not improved in that amount of time. Another thing I found, which I was a little disappointed with, is unlike when you're playing multiplayer there and you can have a friend running a combine when you're harvesting a field and you can be running a combine behind them, uh, unfortunately you can't do that with helpers. If I wanted to run a combine behind this helper, I would not be able to do so because of the fact that uh, the AI doesn't understand 
when I've made a pass with my machine that they need to be the next one over to make a pass with their machine. Uh, again, it's just, you know, the AI is just that bad. And it, it kind of sucks because you could really get a crop off faster if you were able to have two machines going. But, you know, that's an advantage to multiplayer, though. And I got a friend of mine, uh, him and I tend to play on multiplayer. Well, we haven't done it recently, but there for a while we were playing multiplayer. Uh, we kind of uh, started working on that, I believe it's called Willema Forest. Uh, pretty much just a logging map. Uh, you can cut down trees, make logs, and sell wood and all that. But, got the trailer loaded here with corn. I'm just going to take this over to the silo and unload it. And it looks like Helper C is still taking off the oats there. But, go ahead and pull down into the drive here and pull on to the unloading area. Still got to do some more landscaping around here. Landscaping's not completely done. Whoa! Getting a little tipsy right there. Just pull on here. Go ahead and offload the corn. And there we go. So that's been taken care of. All the corn's off. Not really a good yield in my opinion. Could have been better, but you know, again, lack of fertilizer. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, helper C is just over there taking the last of the oats off. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, let me guys know if you want to see more like this, go ahead and hit the like button, and uh, see you in the next one.